What's up, everybody? This is Zach B, and welcome back to Blowout Gaming. Today, guys, I'm taking you through some of my favorite breeding pen designs because there are tons of creatures in Ark, and I want to show you four pens to breed them all. And jumping right into it, number one, our small breeding barn. Now, this, guys, is our first design, and it's very straightforward build. The goal is to create a place to build and store small to medium dinos, and you can see here that I have a nice open bottom floor plan to do that. I also have a hatching pad right there in the corner. Now, you can use torches to hatch your eggs or air conditioners, which I have run underneath here, to a generator outside. And the top area, as we climb up, is going to be stables for your shoulder pets and small dinos, as you can see. So, guys, super simple, super easy, Beach Bob approved. Number two, guys, ocean breeding pen. Our second breeding setup moves over to the ocean. We're going to use these new ocean platforms introduced in Genesis to create an underwater breeding area. Now, the goal here is pretty much to align a pillar with the platform from the ground up. Find an area that's deep enough with a natural shelf to start yourself off. I'm over here on the center, and as you can see, this spot right here is perfect. It drops down deep enough, but not too deep. I can build up to the surface. Now, you can see I pillar evenly around all edges, and then I built straight up with walls to create an enclosed area around both ocean platforms. Now, you have a super discreet ocean pen with a big old behemoth gateway, you can fit all sorts of creatures in here. And if you want to get fancy, like I did, you can actually put vacuum compartments down here so you have everything you need ready to go. Number three, guys, the aviary. Now, I love the idea of a floating birdhouse in the sky, but of course, you can build this on the ground also. Now, this next design takes the idea of a floating birdhouse to the limits. As you can see, guys, this aviary will hold all breedable flyers with a hatching pad included. Now, we start off here in the main hallway. We have Lamantrias on the left, PTs on the right, and around the corner, you have some bats and some vultures. Now, I want to point out right here that we are going to have an area where I put all of my air conditioners for our hidden hatching pad. Now, we're going to head up the stairs here. You can see I have a bunch more pens, Archaeopteryx, Dimorphodons, Feather Lights, and then you can see here that I have a hallway that takes us out to that hatching pad I was just describing. Now, we go all the way up the stairs. There's an area for your RGs. And outside here, there's an area for all of our large flyers all the way up to the Quetz and the Wyvern. Now, number four, guys, the large breeding compound. Now, I have saved the best for last. My final design is the largest breeding compound for your extra large dinos. I want to, again, create a space big enough for the Gigas and Rexes, but also something that looks cool. It's easy to just throw up some behemoth gates and call it a day. But this design has it all. You can see here that we have a central hatching pad along with a central building and pens around the outside. Everything we need in this room and then each of these doors lead to individual pens that are all connected and plenty of space to breed tons of large dinos. As you can see, I don't even have all of these filled up. But you know what? I think it turned out fantastic. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Definitely make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.